Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another New York Giants video. Uh, coaching update number God knows what. Check my playlist and you'll probably see what number it is because I kind of lost count. I want to say four or five, maybe six. Who knows? But big news, big news. And before we get to it, real quick, some housekeeping first. If you are new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Follow my social media accounts because sometimes YouTube notifications don't work. And if I upload a video and for some reason you don't get a notification, you'll definitely see it on my Instagram and Twitter accounts. There's a Discord link down below. You could join. We can chat football, whatever you want. But just some quick housekeeping right out the way. And big thank you to all my uh, current subscribers. Um, past couple of days, I've noticed like a little spike in the subscription rate. I am a small channel, you know, sub 500 channel, but it still means a lot to me when I see like a, like a random spike of five new subscribers or something like that. So thank you to all my current subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thank you guys all. It means a lot to me that you guys really love to check out my videos and, uh, you know, give me your opinion on them and whatnot. But with that out of the way, let me get into the uh, coaching hire. The Giants have found their new offensive line coach in Mark Colombo, former coach of the Dallas Cowboys and also a former NFL player. And Colombo was a very interesting hire. I did not speak on any um, of the offensive line head co uh, coaches candidates because, to be quite honest with you guys, I... Uh, wasn't really sure who I liked out of the candidates. Uh, obviously, Callahan would probably have been my number one choice, but I'm going to say this over and over again in my videos because sometimes, you know, you really need to get your point across. I I maintain the same opinion on every coach that is hired, and that is, I don't know if they're going to be good. I don't know if they're going to be bad. I'm hoping for the best. And, of course, with some of them, I have hunches, like with my Jason Garrett vid um i did two videos on jason garrett i had a really good hunch that not only was he going to be our offensive coordinator but i just have a feeling that he's going to make this offense come alive in, in a new way that we haven't seen before especially through a run in recent years and i just feel like he's going to help develop dj a lot same thing with the quarterbacks coach and jerry shaplinski and um on the defensive side of the ball patrick graham i had uh confidence in i have nudges about these guys but i'm going to maintain my opinion of you know, I have to see them coach first before I give you guys something solid. Colombo is very interesting though because he's around 41. He matches the timeline of most of the coaches on this team. He was a former first round pick of the Chicago Bears. He played with the Bears from 2002 until 2005. He then moved on to the Cowboys where he was there for five years until 2010. And then he played his last year in the league with the Dolphins in 2011. And of course this guy, he was on the offensive line or more specifically, offensive tackle. And Colombo was, he was an all right, he was an all right player, you know, um, from what I gather here, he was basically like the epitome of a Cowboy offensive lineman in that range from really good to great. I wanna say he was a good player and he was even, uh, at least with the Cowboys, a better coach. Now he was promoted to offensive line coach for the Cowboys back in, in 2016, that's when he was initially brought on as an assistant offensive line coach, but he was promoted in 2018 after the Cowboys let go of Paul Alexander to the position of offensive line coach. And even though the Cowboys have one of the best lines in the league by talent, at that time they were severely underperforming and it was affecting the team's overall performance. And when Colombo came in, that was when the Cowboys turned things around and basically won, won out the rest of their season and the offensive line had a big part to do with that. Now, I really hope that Colombo can do with our offensive line what he did to the Cowboys because it's similar um, in the sense that it's a turnaround story. Our offensive line has some talent in there. Um, to be honest with you guys, I only think there's about two good players on our offensive line in the two guards, Hernandez and Zeitler. Um, Solder, maybe I should give him a bit more credit. He is good. He's just severely overpaid, which hurts us a lot. But I really think he should move to right tackle. And then we need a new left tackle and a new center. Or maybe Colombo could just turn these guys around because remember how they perform in the first two weeks of the season? Those first two weeks of the season, of this 2019 season, our offensive line was ranked top five in the league in both um, pass blocking, pass protection, and run blocking. I remember touting that in a couple of my uh, game recap videos, how impressed I was, and then they just sort of fell apart 
after Daniel Jones came in, which may or may not be, you know, there may or may not be a correlation there because Jones is so young, he's so inexperienced, uh, he doesn't know how to read defenses a bit more, how to keep the offensive line a bit more organized as somebody, you know, a veteran like Eli would. And maybe that has something to do with the poor performance down the stretch, but in general, the offensive line just got worse and worse as the year progressed. And there was, you know, a little bit of like shot in the dark, bright spots towards the end of the year there. But for all general intents and purposes, the offensive line got worse over time. And Mark Colombo had success in Dallas, not necessarily turning that line around, because like I said, they always had massive talent over there, but just helping them realize their potential or helping them come back to what they're supposed to be. Maybe he could do that for our offensive line. And um, of course, this means we let go of Hal Hunter, which I feel like I should have said at the beginning, but that's another reason I believe Hunter was released. Not necessarily because of the year-to-year -year progress, but because of the um, in-year progress. Yes, our offensive line, you could say, was worse in the 2019 season than they how they performed in the 2018 season. But it's what happened within the 2019 season itself from the first two weeks to the other 14 weeks is why I think he really lost his job. And if Colombo could come in and help us, you know, get back to the performance of the first two weeks, I think we're going to be set. I mean, this guy, uh, another thing that matches up with the uh, rest of the coaching staff here other than his age is uh, his coaching experience. Very limited, but because he was a player very similar to Jerome Henderson, who we hired as our defensive backs coach, if I remember correctly. I... Uh, Usually, that's a good thing, and I hope it turns out to be a good thing here. He brings uh, some of that player experience into his coaching uh, repertoire. And the players, you know, maybe the offensive line, he could connect to them better. Uh, you know, similarly how to everybody else on this coaching staff is a bit younger, and they have experience somehow, some way as a player. I, feel, I just feel like this offensive staff have, and the defensive staff, the coaching staff in general, has good things ahead of them. Now, of course, one thing, another thing I noticed, and I'm sure you guys noticed about the hire, is that it's definitely a Jason Garrett hire. I mean, it was Garrett that promoted this guy to offensive line coach after he let go of Alexander uh, last year. And, of course, he was a Cowboys head coach, a former Cowboys player and whatnot. Garrett has a lot of history with this guy. And that either suggests one of two things to me. Either, uh, A, this was not only a Jason Garrett hire, but a Dave Gettleman hire, and maybe... You know, just maybe Joe Judge didn't really have anything to do with it. Or B, Judge does have something to do with do with it. And him and Jason Garrett have already built up a nice, uh, you know, coach-offensive coach relationship. You know, they've already built up a nice coach, maybe assistant head coach type of relationship in there where Joe Judge trusts his guys uh, to bring in people that they believe in, which would also suggest one of the other theories is that Jason Garrett wasn't a Dave Gellman hire, but also a Joe Judge hire, maybe Judge wanted him on here because he knew that Jason is going to bring on people that's going to work for this team and because he knew Garrett was going to be a good fit for the team. You know, just a little thing to throw out there, but I just wanted to put it out there because it's interesting to see the dynamic of the, I guess, you know, the politics within the staff, how that's going to be going forward. Because obviously a lot of people are worried, I mentioned this in the Garrett video, God forbid Joe Judge does terribly. Garrett is probably next in line to be the head coach of the Giants if we do a promotion from within or maybe everybody's gonna get scrapped again including Gettleman who knows I, I try not to think about it but that's what I got for y'all on Mark Colombo I like the hire I do um, and it's nice to see that these guys they're really taking their time with uh, analyzing who they're hire I guess I should say the Joe Judge and Dave Gettleman are taking their time and analyzing they're trying to find the right fit and um, because of that, and because of the fact that everybody they're bringing in has a very similar profile, I feel like this is a coaching staff for the future, much like this is a team for the future. And in two or three years, you know, guys, we gotta wait. It's not gonna happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. But in two or three years, because of the staff that we've built here, that's gonna grow with the players and the players that we bring in here through the draft and free agency, the Giants could be something of a force again. I, I just got that feeling. I don't wanna jinx it. But I'm putting it out there. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, another video that was out a bit late because, you know, uh, my semester started back up. So I'm back in school a little bit. These videos are going to be kind of um, in terms of release time. You're going to see one one day release at like 9 o'clock in the night. Maybe another day you're going to see one release new at noon because it all depends on when I got free time. But let me know what you guys think down below. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. You're... 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.